Good afternoon. Commuters on Thursday morning expressed dismay and exasperation over the standstill traffic along South Luzon Expressway amid the rainy weather. Commuters report flooding along Eslex Bikutan, which caused the slowdown of vehicles traversing the expressway. Netizens flock to Twitter to complain about the inconvenience pushing Eslex and Bikutan among the trending topics in the Philippines. According to the Philippine Atmospheric, Geophysical and Astronomical Services Administration, rainy weather is widespread throughout the Arctic. Throughout Southwest monsoon. Pag-asa says the LPA and the Southwest monsoon will trigger rain showers and thunderstorms in Metro Manila, the rest of Luzon, Visayas, Zamboanga Peninsula, Northern Mindanao, Caraga, and Farm on Thursday. Meanwhile, the Southwest monsoon is directly affecting Davao region and Sox Sargent. The Philippine Amusement and Gaming Corporation's new logo was met with jeers from social media users when the agency unveiled it to the public. Pagcor on Tuesday unveiled its new logo at Marriott Hotel Manila in celebration of its 40th year. According to Pagcor Chairman and CEO Alejandro Tenco, the new logo incorporates the element of fire which symbolizes the flame that ignites change and drives progress. However, the logo ignited a torrent of criticism from social media users. Some social media users questioned the need for a new logo, with others saying it may be a waste of money. A user even said a better design could have come out from a logo-making contest, especially if it would be awarded millions of pesos. Meanwhile, netizens also poked fun at the new Pagcor logo and made their own interpretations of it. The Catholic Bishops' Conference of the Philippines strongly objects to a drag queen's use of a widely revered Christian image and a religious hymn for a bar party performance. The performer known as Pura Luca Vega tweeted on Tuesday a video of herself in a black Nazarene costume and dancing and singing along to an upbeat rendition of the Lord's Prayer before an entertained crowd. Sought for a comment, CBCP Episcopal Commission on Public Affairs Executive Secretary Father Jerome Ceciliano described the actions of the people in the video as completely disrespectful. He says people should be prudent in their actions, saying the use of elements of religion and faith could border on mockery if not used properly. Vega, in a Twitter space, clarified that she was not trying to demean religion through her performance, saying it was her way of praising God. She then questioned if her performance was offensive because of her queerness or if it was because of other factors. Comedic trio Tito, Vic, and Joey have asked the Marikina Regional Trial Court to stop Tape Incorporated and GMA Network from using the name logo and other devices by the revamped Eat Bulaga show. TVJ says this constitutes copyright infringement and unfair competition. The complaint stems from tape and gym a supposed illegal use of the Eat Bulaga name and logo, music and even segments. Tape and GMA have also allegedly been replaying episodes of the original Eat Bulaga shows for you for use of the revamped Capuso Noontime show without securing first the trio's consent. TVJ is also asking the trial court as well to order the production company to pay damages amounting to 20.98 million pesos. Meanwhile, GMA Network says it would refer the complaint to its legal team. For their part, Take Incorporate, Tape Incorporated's legal counsel, Maggie Abrahama Garduque, says TVJ cannot claim copyright infringement because the Itbulaga name, the design of the name, and the logo is a trademark owned by the production company. Here's the latest roundup of today's top stories. Transport Group Manibela announces three-day nationwide transport strike coinciding with President Bongbong Marcos's State of the Nation address. Heavy rain floods portions of Eslex causing standstill traffic. And Catholic Bishops Conference of the Philippines says drag queen act with Nazarene costume completely disrespectful. And these are the stories you need to know today. I'm Neil Mercado.
Follow Inquirer.net on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, and Reddit. For more stories, visit Inquirer.net. Good afternoon.